guys, it's Bubbly, and today we are going to be taking a look at two really cool mods by two very talented creators. But before we get into that, if you enjoyed today's content, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that sub button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss the next time we do a mod review. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and hit that intro. So here we are on Ice Mun Mun's blog spot page and this is where you can download her mod for the functional chicken coop. So this has tons of information to go over and explain everything that you will need to know in order to install this mod and actually how to use it once you get in your game. It's quite a detailed mod, it's more detailed than I ever imagine it would be and she's got tons of pictures as well as descriptions on what to expect when you get this mod into your game so you're going to get a chicken coop and i do believe you can find this in the miscellaneous outdoor outdoor activities um, or small appliances so there's 12 different colors to choose from so you have some options and variations for that and there's also 13 interactions that you have with this chicken coop which is amazing that's quite a lot of interaction your sim can have with this particular mod so it goes from setting up the chicken coop to hugging the chickens you can tell your chicken stories you can collect the eggs you can also insult or use foul language but um bum <laughs> but why would you want to do that they're so cute I wouldn't want to insult my little baby chicks so um, this blog will go over some details about each interaction to explain what you need to do to set up your coop buying the chickens feeding the chickens and then collecting the eggs you can also collect Easter eggs which is pretty cool um, they have a wide variety of different I think there's 12 yeah there's 12 different types of Easter eggs that you can get and there's also a chance of getting a golden egg which is rare but it's worth 800 simoleons if you do get one so your sim can sell that for some extra cash in their pocket which you know I'm always looking for ways for my sim to make some extra money so I am so down for that so you can also have the chance of getting sick, which is interesting. It's not something that I considered when I thought about the chicken coop mob, but there is um, an instance of becoming sick with a couple of different diseases. I do believe it's the foul flu and the simonella. So this will explain exactly what will happen to your sim, and you can cure your sim with it with drinking orange juice which is also an override that comes um, that you can install with this mod as well so it sounds like tons of fun you guys it looks super cute um, but let's hop into game and let's take a look and see how the functional chicken coop by ice mun mun works so here we are you guys at Bramble Farm. Now this is a build that recently just went up on the channel. I believe last week, actually this farm was, you know, came into fruition because of this particular mod. So we are here at the farm to test out this chicken coop. And here it is you guys, it's super cute. As you can see, there are some little chickens here, or baby chicks over here, but then there's the actual adult chickens that are just kind of hanging out here, waiting to lay their eggs. So these are not animated. It's just, you know, there for visual effect. You, I mean, they don't move or anything like that. It just looks like there's chickens living in this coop, which, you know, is completely fine. For me, you can see there's like a little spot upstairs on this coop for chickens to hang out. And then the little babies come and go down here. So your sim will interact with the chickens and they will actually hold a chicken when they are hugging them or they might even hold them when they're telling them a story. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, 
but let's go ahead and see what happens. So this is Miss Kelsey Graham over here and she recently purchased Bramble Farm and she wanted to raise some chickens. So I believe she already set up her chicken coop. So we want to feed our chickens. Now in order to feed the chickens, you do need to purchase the chicken feed and that is in the small appliances, I believe is where you will find it right here so chicken feed this has to be in your sims inventory in order for them to have the option to feed the chickens so it costs five simoleons let's just drop that into her inventory and then as you can see we can now feed the chickens so we'll have her do that and let's just take a look so she's pouring the feed in for them awesome so once the chickens have been fed then i think you have to wait over three sim hours in order for eggs to be available for your sim to collect. So in the meantime, we can converse with the chickens so we can chat with them, get to know them, and we're actually going to build a relationship with them. So I do believe that you can rename this. Okay, so we can name the poultry so we can give it a name. Um, we'll name it after the farm. There we go. We'll just call it Bramble. So, hey, Bramble. <laughs> now, do we get, um, see, and now we have a friendship. So, you will all, the, the chicken coop will actually show up in your friendship tab. And you can build a relationship with the chickens. And I guess it'll determine, possibly, whether you get good or bad eggs because there is an option of getting bad eggs and the eggs are edible you guys so let's see we've conversed with them we can tell a story uh we've named them let's give the chicken a hug oh look at you guys she's actually holding the chicken <laughs> so she will get a chicken magically appear in her hand and she'll give it a cute little hug we don't want to go fast she'll give it a hug and that is pretty sweet so um we can check for eggs so let's see if there's any eggs for us to collect eggs from the coop the eggs are not ready to be collected okay so like i said we need to allow enough time for those eggs to generate for the chickens to pop those babies out so let's see let's try foul language. I want to see what that looks like. So, okay, that made her mischievous. So, you can be a little bit foul with your foul. <laughs> I know, I'm corny. But, you know, it's fitting. It's fitting for the mod that we're taking a look at today. So, uh, let's see. We can observe. What else can we do? We've already named it. And we can put this in our inventory? We can put the entire chicken coop in our inventory, which is quite amazing. So let's go ahead and place this in world once again. And now it's facing in the absolute odd direction, but that is okay. That is okay. So it is getting to be nighttime. So maybe we'll come back in the morning and we'll see if those, those eggs are ready for us to collect for breakfast. All right, you guys, it is the next day and we're going to check for our eggs. Now, I did have to feed the chickens once again because I think it probably times out. You don't have an infinite amount of time in order to check for the eggs. So just keep that in mind when you feed the chickens that you'll have to check for the eggs within, I'm not sure how long, but as soon as that three hours is up, go ahead and check for your eggs because that interaction will not remain. So our eggs are not ready yet. Okay, so we still, oh, collect eggs. Yes, the eggs are ready. Okay, so I guess once they're, re they're ready, then you can actually collect the eggs and not just check for them. Cool, all right. A carton of eggs can be found in the Sims inventory. All right, so let's take a look at it, let's take a look. Look you guys, here's our eggs. Okay, so let's take these in the house. So we can put them down maybe on a counter or the table and just kind of see what they look like. So here are our eggs 
and look how cute this is. We have a carton of half a dozen eggs. This actually is looking a lot larger than I thought they would actually be. This is super, super cute. If we click on it, we can open the carton. I wonder if we can, I think we, okay, let's try opening it and then maybe we can eat some eggs of varying quality can be found in the Sims inventory. Okay, so you have to open the carton and then the eggs will be put in your inventory. So until you open the carton, the carton will remain in your inventory. As soon as you open it, then you get eggs. <gasps> We got a golden egg, you guys! This is 800 simoleons right there, cha-ching! So that's very fortunate of, of us to get on our very first try. Okay, so we have 26 eggs worth 12 simoleons, and then we have eight bad quality. So this 26, oh, okay, the 26 are high quality, and then we have eight bad quality eggs. So let's go ahead and eat an egg. Look how huge that thing is. It's a monster egg. So yeah, D did we just acquire the fitness skill from eating an egg? Okay, okay. So we did get a buff. It says excellent from eating a good egg. Eggs are an excellent source of protein. So that lasts for two hours. So I'm assuming because this popped up when we ate the egg that it goes towards your fitness. I guess we're being healthy and fit by eating eggs. So that is super fantastic. Now, if you guys will notice here, there are also some Easter eggs already in her inventory. I did search for those as well, and she did get a couple of cute little Easter eggs. They're lemon candy Easter eggs. They're worth three simoleons a piece. These are also edible if you want your sim to eat those as well. So you guys, that's basically it for this mod. It's just really cute. I really love the idea of having this on the farm. It just adds an extra layer of realism to the game where you can have actual fresh eggs that your sim gets to pick from the chicken coop every morning, which is kind of a kind of a fun idea. So she's playing with the little chicken now. Look how just look how cute this is, you guys. It's just it's really so adorable. I freaking love it. So if you guys want to grab this mod for your game, like I said earlier, it is linked down below. Thanks to the very wonderful and talented Ice Mun Mun for providing us with some extra content to help spice up our games, especially if you're interested in farming and that type of thing. So the next mod we're gonna look at you guys is the Strangerville Camping RVs, which are functional. And this is by Brazen Lotus. And this is a super cool mod, very simple, but amazing as well. As you know, these campers came with the brand new pack, but they weren't items that were liberated in the game or available for us to use, but no fear, Brazen Lotus has taken care of that for us. So I'm gonna have a link to her blog down below so you guys can grab these if you wanna give them a try out in your game. They are objects, but they are functional, and I can't wait for you guys to see how these look in game because they are amazing. So let's go ahead and hop in game and take a look at the Stranger Veil camping RVs that are functional. All right, you guys, so the next mod that I wanted to show to you is just something that's really fun and I'm really excited that somebody liberated these. It is these campers that came with Strangerville. So you will need to have that pack in order for this mod to work. But when the trailer for Strangerville released, we all got super excited because we thought these campers were going to be items that we could actually use or maybe they were items we could place to decorate our different lots. But unfortunately, they were not. A lot of us were sad. I was sad because I was really, really excited for it. But never fear, we do have 
these campers liberated so I am gonna have the link in the description down below so you can grab these for your game because they are actually functional yes you heard me right they are functional and just look how cute now this one only comes in this swatch there's no other colors offered for this one this version has a clean version of this I'll show it to you guys this is kind of like the dirty kind of mucked up we've been camping a lot version of this and then there's this one oops that picked the wrong one this one that is just a bit cleaner it looks like maybe we got a brand new RV and we haven't broken it in yet. <laughs> so I personally prefer the worn and torn, or not torn, but the one that looks like it has a lot of stories to tell because some family time has been spent in the camper. So let's get to the functionality. So the idea for these is basically the same function as a tent. So your Sims can sleep in these. So if you wanted to go camping, like I just quickly put this little campground together in StrangerVille. So you could create a campground and then have your Sims or their families go camping together and they can sleep in what is essentially a tent. So I'm assuming that maybe two Sims can sleep in one tent at a time. That I am not 100% sure of. I've never actually used tents before, so I'm not I'm not too sure. But as you can see, the Sims will enter through the door when they're ready to take their nap or go to sleep. And they will also come out of this area as well. And look at the glowing lights, you guys. How cute is that? I did not put any potties on this lot for this review. My bad. But it's so cute, it just glows at night. I mean, look, you guys, look at how adorable this is. This is just too, it's too cute. It is just too cute. I'm absolutely in love with this. So the interaction is just basically them going in and out as it is a tent, because that is what it was built on. So your Sims will kind of climb out of the bottom of the door here, but you know, that doesn't make any difference to me. I think it looks just fine. Also, I think these would be great to use in Granite Falls if you wanted to build your own camping grounds there. You could use these little trailers um, or RVs, I should call them, in place of tents. So you could set up a whole campground that's just strictly RVs that will be tents for your Sims family to enjoy. So like I said, you guys, I will have the link in the description down below if you guys want to put these in your game. So you guys, that is it for our mod reviews today. Just two really cute and fun ideas to add a little bit of more realism to your game if that is what you're interested in. I know me personally, I do enjoy a bit of realism to go along with the fantasy of The Sims, but this right here is a beautiful mod. I absolutely love it, super excited that I am able to have this in my game right now. But you guys, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this review and if you'd like to see more reviews like it. And if there are mods out there that you are interested in seeing, also let me know in the comments because I will go ahead and grab those up and we can take a look at them together. So as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for being here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.